When you think of Sims 4 save files, the first thing that comes to your head is just, oh, updated builds, which is what this save file has done. It has updated every single build here, every build here. Wow, that looks impressive. Everything here, everything here, everything here, even everything in San Sequoia. But it's not just the builds themselves, which are different. It's the actual world, and that's without mods, by the way. So looking down this starter neighborhood, which Streamlit single is in Willow Creek, you may notice it looks very different apart from all of the brand new beautiful houses that are here. You may also notice that there's street lamps now. You may also notice that there's a little dumpster here. It just feels a little bit more alive. How has this person done that, you ask? Oh, what on earth are you doing, mate? Summer holiday? Wearing an astronaut suit? <laughs> or just a helmet? For those of you who are not like advanced builders in The Sims 4, you can actually place objects objects off a lot. So with the move objects on cheat, I could grab this bed and I could like kind of move it outside of the lot. And now we've got a bed. We go into lift mode, like this bed is half hanging off my lot. But there's a mod for The Sims 4 called the tool mod, which basically allows you to move things even further away. It allows you to move things really far away from the lot, including, you know, onto the street itself. To give you some reference to those who don't know what I'm talking about. So this is the new world San that comes in the Grown Together pack. This is what it looks like in the base game, and this is what it looks like in this world save. So as you can see, they've added an entire new like harbor area here and tons of new trees here. And you can also see very small detail that they've added kind of like little lights around the promenade area. And this is all thanks to that mod that basically shifts things where you can shift things out of the lot. Anyway, it's very clever. So that's how they did it. The actual lots themselves, by the way, they're very detailed and they look live in, which is amazing. You know, a lot of Sims for lots, they don't look lived in. I feel like, you know, I feel like with all of the builds in this save file, they really do just look lived in, which is amazing. And beautiful, guys. Come on, look at this. I know you're all vanilla bitches, so don't worry. We're going to spend a lot of time in Willow Creek. I know that's your favorite area. <laughs> all of the architecture here, by the way, is supposed to be very New Orleans-y, and that's because Willow Creek is based off that. And may I say, it looks literally incredible. These lots are blood insane. And yes, as you can see, you know, we got all of these trees along the boulevard, which weren't there before. It didn't look like this before. It wasn't this detailed before. And it's all thanks to the way that the mod has gone about it, which is honestly so special. There's loads of additional trees. It just looks amazing. Into the lot itself, by the way, this is a restaurant. Really beautiful looking restaurant, actually. Really love this. It looks really cozy, where you can take your sims to come and eat here. There's also so a really, really nice cafe here. I love the way this cafe looks. It looks really cozy. It just looks like a nice space for your sims to hang around in. And I do feel like I'm in New Orleans. It really does look like proper beautiful and special. Oh, also, by the way, the person who's made this has also put like little different kind of stools around in the community bit. So, you know, I can get lemonade from this drink stall or whatever. I think it's a nice touch. Coming out of your favorite American suburban world, we're moving to San Sequoia. You second favorite American suburban world. <laughs> so I believe like all around this area here, they've added a lot more trees and, and added a lot more decorative objects and it just makes it feel a lot more crowded and alive, but crowded in like a cozy way, not in a chaotic way. And I really like it. Even in this area too, like I feel like some stuff has been added. I haven't played in San Sequoia really that much before, so I can't tell because I'm not that familiar with the world, but it feels denser. Do you know what I mean? And I really really love this row of townhouses here added to the Growing Together world. I think it looks honestly amazing, guys. It's really amazing. I love it. For those of you who don't know, you can technically create a household with multiple sims and then lock each of these specific doors for each household. And that way you can have it. So like, even though technically they're in the same household, they're different sims living in different houses. If you want to do like a terrace house thing or a flat thing, you can do it. But honestly, guys, it's incredible. Taking a look at Hanford upon Bagley, this little cottage here is now surrounded by a forest and it's really magical. Like it feels like what cottage you're living was supposed to be like around a magical little forest. And guys, even just the build itself looks so nice. But like the whole point of this world save is not just the builds, but outside of the builds, like the whole world has changed. Even this lot here, right? Before it was just surrounded
surrounded by a barren, empty field with nothing in it. Literally nothing in it. Now this field area can actually be put to use because they've actually added planters here. So you can actually use the big field behind the house in order to plant crops, which is like the whole point of having a farm. It makes you realize like how limited Sims 4 worlds are. And imagine if, you know, the Cottage Living Pack actually ships with these planters all behind this house so you could actually use them to plant things. It just makes it so much more alive, honestly guys, and this one here too. It really does make me miss The Sims 3, like in The Sims 4, the fact that this creator has had to jump through so many hurdles using mods and things just so that they can make the entire world look better. I really do miss Sims 3 create a world tool, even The Sims 2 create a world tool, even The Sims 1 you could create worlds. It really does make me miss it. Taking a look at Henford upon Bagley, although it is actually autumn, should I change the season? If we make it summer, there we go, it looks a little bit more green. So like you may have noticed the entire world looks so much more dense, like even this little town square area, it feels like there's a little bit more there and it just looks a bit more detailed. You may notice that there's a lot more trees around, it looks a lot more green. This is just an excellent cozy world safe and I'm honestly blown away by how detailed everything is. Like the world just feels a lot less barren and I know I keep going on but not even just the world but like the lots themselves. You know this new pub lot is huge, it's amazing and I feel like your sims could just do loads in here. Every single world is jam packed full of stuff. Magnolia Promenade with Get to Work has undergone a massive change and there's this huge Emporium retail store which I want to look at. So this one seems to be a clothes shop downstairs, kind of reminds me of the Sims 2 H&M fashion stuff a little bit. It looks really detailed with like the changing rooms and everything. There's an upstairs bit here which has kind of got like a little hangout area. It looks really modern and nice, I love it. Again, I never actually used this world so I can't tell if it really looks different. You guys have got to tell me. It feels a lot more dense like in the middle areas where the lot is not there but you can let me know but I feel like it looks different. I feel like it looks very dense. Was it always that way before? I feel like it wasn't. Looks like Judith Ward's house has been fixed, thank god, <laughs> if you won't get famous. Looks a lot more stunning as it should. It seems like the world now has like a Hollywood sign there that they've added which is cool. Although if you guys have seen my review videos before you will know I'm not a fan of the Latin alphabet in The Sims. Whether it's done officially or unofficially I do kind of wish it was in Simlish instead. That is me being very nitpicky I know. Although like how have they done this? It must have taken them ages. It's very talented. But again the whole neighbourhood just feels a lot more alive and I love it. They've also added a brand new wedding venue on the beach. This actually looks amazing. It really looks really special this little venue on the beach. I really love it. Granted it's night time. Oops. Summer holiday dislike strut summer strut music. <laughs> that was random. Totally unrelated to the video but there we go. She's having a little dance on the dance floor. It's night time so it's difficult to show you but like even all the trees that have been added here. I, I think these have been added again. I rarely ever come in this world so I'm not sure. Was this boat there before? I feel like that boat wasn't there before either but you guys let me know because I can't remember. You guys may know I'm a big fan of magic so we're in the realm of magic world Glimmerbrook. Love this house here. Love the little conservatory we've got here as well. That's amazing. The house looks really lovely designed and detailed. I honestly could never. How do people make builds like this? Like I don't know. <laughs> I can't even get stairs to do this. I haven't even worked that out yet let alone do everything else. It's all the little details guys in the decorations that just make it feel like every single space is used and lived in. Summer Holiday now wants to embrace being erratic. Gosh growing together. Guys don't install growing together because sims want to change their personalities constantly. Anyway rant aside as I was saying like every single house and space just feels like lived in like it feels like people are actually here. Now one thing I love that they did in Solani I really really love okay he made a boat restaurant isn't that cool isn't that amazing see this is what we all really wanted in island living we wanted like actual proper usable boats this right here is a proper boat and it's a restaurant it's incredible so like you click on here to request a table I know it's 5 a.m but here we are <laughs> 5 a.m in the restaurant I mean it's not gonna work because dine out doesn't work it always bugs out <laughs> but we're trying request a table anyway it looks like we're gonna be seated is it gonna work is it gonna work oh yeah it's gonna work and we've got a lovely table looking out at sea whilst we're on this boat let me raise that up so you can see properly isn't this just so cool like the game feels like it just adds so many nice spaces in your game to make it proper cozy that was a bit of a jump scare <laughs> 
<laughs> Oops, demented look at summer holiday here. It's kind of clever. So they built it on like this sized up, like I think debug boat and then just built an entire restaurant on top of it. It's so clever the way that it's done. But as you can see, like it literally looks like a proper restaurant in a boat. It is amazing. This is probably one of my favorite builds, I think in this entire place. I genuinely love it. You go up to the top deck and everything and have a look out to see. Oh my God, guys. Now this, right. I'm proper serious now, like this, proper good. This little bay area, Brindleton Bay is lovely. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. I think it looks so nice. They've added actually like a lighthouse on top of here, which I believe wasn't there before, which looks amazing. And this is added to the bar that's been put in here. And this bar also, I love it, guys. Look how cozy this looks. It's even got a little cute TV there. Got a jukebox, it's got a mic stand. Your Sims could come here and do stand-up comedy. It really does just look like so cozy it's incredible i think that's the best way to describe this world save it's just very cozy in oasis springs this cafe here also looks amazing with the big thing on top again like are these debug objects like how have they done this it's amazing anyway this is a cafe oh my god what just happened there was that a vampire <laughs> Oh my God, the waiter is a vampire. Oh my God, it's Vlad, Vlad. Oh my God, it's Vlad. It's Daddy Vladdy and he's got long hair. Why does he look like that? <laughs> it seems like all of the townies have been changed up too in this world save. Anyway, this little cafe, when you go into the back of it, it seems like there's also a bowling area, which is in the basement, but they've made it like a, a balcony thing so you can look down so I can get my Sim to do a little bowling. Genuinely love that. The world save just adds like a lot of places and a lot of things for your Sims to do and I think it's really, really nice. It's so cool. We're just at Johnny Zest's little caravan. Even this looks like a lot more detailed and better. It seems like they've made it an actual caravan. So if you go under, they put wheels in it and things to make it like actually proper, you know, like a proper trailer house. Like it's literally a proper trailer. Looks a lot more modern too, actually. Looks like he's doing better for himself, though it's still quite messy. Oh my gosh, that is very messy. Has the world around it been changed? Again, like I actually don't come in Oasis Springs that much. So I don't, no, I feel like there's a lot more trees than normal, like in the center area here. Is that right? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, it looks amazing. Literally everywhere. Guys, I cannot explain to you. I've seen so many amazing Sims 4 world saves in my time, but never have I seen a world save that literally like changes and adds new objects to the areas outside of the lot itself. I just feel like going down every single neighborhood, especially in Willow Creek, it just looks so much more detailed. I honestly love the little street lamps that they put here. It really does look so cool. And like all of the houses, they all have the same vibe to them. They all look really nice. I am honestly blown away. Honestly, never seen a world save that, you know, puts street lamps in the actual street and somehow makes it work. It puts, you know, little bikes out in the street and dustbins. These like bins are actually in the street, like you would see in real life when people put them out for collection. And it really does this add to the realism. By the way, you may have noticed that a lot of the lot names have changed to what like I think this is Brazilian Portuguese looks like Brazilian Portuguese that's because the creator as far as I'm aware well I'm assuming so is Brazilian <laughs> I've just assumed I don't know but obviously if it's made with like a Brazilian version of the game then it may be like that that's fine but honestly guys I feel like people don't really look at the names of the lots or the names of the worlds like we just click on it and we go in it so it's not that big of a deal anyway not for me anyway I don't care it looks bloody amazing yeah you can see like the museum and this restaurant here like they all have names that look like Portuguese but you know what I don't care I mean oh my god I haven't even looked at this yet but the park here the Oasis Springs Park it looks so much better bloody hell I didn't even click on this one look at the little bicycles out here on the bike stands all of the trees added to the area outside of the lot too the basketball court like there's so much for your sims to do in this save it's incredible the planter boxes everything I am genuinely genuinely obsessed with this, right? Gets 10 out of 10 from me. A proper full on 10 out of 10. I mean, look at these little, and I'm going on, but look at the way that they've put these stools here. So you can go up here, get some food, sit on the bench. Oh guys, I love it. It's gonna change the game forever. It's an amazing world save, all right? If I remember, I will link it. If I don't remember, scream at me in the comments and like I'll link it in the bio. This isn't the only world save I've looked at. I looked at another incredible world save to the other month. A world save that was made by over a hundred people. Like it is crazy. So go check out that video now too. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this one. I will see you in the next one.